Good morning. I just want to take you through a couple of minutes here about my leadership model. Hopefully we'll accomplish a couple things by doing this. One is what you can expect from me as a leader here in the organization and the team that you're joining. And also uh, to give you a better understanding of the behaviors I'll be looking to and the values uh, that I would have you exhibit as you join our team as well. I'd also like you, if you could, at some point um, as you join the organization and you have some time to be out in our offices, let me know, give me feedback on how not only myself but our team is doing with these same expectations, with behaviors and values. So I'll kind of start here in the center if you see trust. Trust is what fuels every organization, every relationship, be that personal or professional work relationship. And I learned this value a long time ago from my grandfather when I used to work with him as a kid out on the dairy farm. The size of the dairy farm was really large um, and he didn't have a lot of time to check on each of us individually, uh, different parts of the farm, different jobs and duties that we were expected to accomplish. So he talked to me, even as a kid, a lot about trust. Uh, we have to be able to trust each other that we're all doing our own individual jobs to contribute to the greater good. And as we do this, you'll find that trust fuels investment in the organization, investment from each individual team member, and the cost of doing business, if you will, be that time or actual financial cost, goes down. So as trust goes up, costs come down, and also the time to implement things increases significantly, uh, which is vital to what we do. So I'll start there again, as I said, with the core. We'll refer back to that quite a bit. Um, and I'll give you some of these other behaviors and things that I want to talk about real quickly. Vision, our vision is to become the greatest dental support organization in, in America. Uh, sounds like a big lofty goal, and it is, but it's certainly within our reach if we can do all these things that we're gonna talk about, uh, not only individually, but also you'll see as a team. And then also in the local community, our vision is to be the provider of choice in each one of those individual communities with the patients uh, that we serve there in the local community. So it's important that we always keep this in mind and we refer back to being the greatest dental support organization, being the provider of choice in our communities. And how do we judge that? How do we uh, know that we're accomplishing that is, again, uh, we look to healthier and happier patients. That's really the ultimate objective in everything that we do. So there's kind of laying out for you the vision of what we're trying to accomplish. The next thing I'll talk to you about, which is critical, crucial, in everything that I believe in as a leader, I'm part of a team, you're part of a team. None of us can accomplish uh, anything close to our vision if we're not part of a team and upholding our end of the bargain, so to speak, and doing our individual job. I learned this again uh, playing team sports, um, and I've taken that into my leadership model, and I really, really believe strongly in the team concept. The next is personal growth. I think everybody joins an organization uh, with the intention, with the desire for personal growth. Be that uh, in your current job role that you're growing and becoming better. Uh, be that something that you're looking to as far as uh, being promoted, moving into different roles with the organization. Our team is committed to each individual and their personal growth. What that also means and what I would also expect from you is that you're invested in your personal growth. So you'll see a lot of interaction going back and forth both ways. Uh, but personal growth, again, starts with you. I want you to be proactive with that. But I also want you to hold my team and I accountable to making sure that we're providing you those opportunities for personal growth and that we're stretching you and sometimes putting you in situations that make you kind of go outside your comfort level. I think that's critical and important. The next is exceptional performance. Uh, here in our region here at PDS, you're joining a high performance organization. We don't look for just average or good performance. We look for exceptional performance from each individual on the team, from the offices that we support, from the region and from our overall organization. Again, helping us reach our vision of becoming the best dental support organization in the world. And then also the provider of choice in each individual community that we serve, helping create more healthy and happier patients uh, as, we, as we move forward. We measure these things and, and we'll look to some metrics for you individually. Um, we can do that, uh, but we also, again, you'll see a lot of interaction with our team, uh, from me to you, from me to my rest of my team, and hopefully from you back to me as well as your leader to continuously 
had exceptional performance, again, individually and also in the offices that we support. The next crucial component here is adaptability. You know, in the world that we live in today, not only in the dental industry, but just business in general, you know, people have choices, people have options. And if we get too wrapped up in the fact that we've got a model that doesn't need to evolve, that doesn't need to continuously improve, we may run into at some point hitting a ceiling, which I know for you, for me, is critical that we're continuously adapting, improving, looking to what we can do to, again, reach our ultimate vision, and also to continuously provide service to the patient so that they can become healthier and happier. So again, these are some behaviors, some values. Again, the core to what we do is trust. Um, none of these things will happen without this core of trust being continuously developed and continuously improved upon. So hopefully that gives you some insight as to what you can expect from me as a leader. Again, uh, what I expect from my team and I'll be expecting from you. Um, the last thing I would ask is as you've been here, say 60, 90 days, please reach back out to me. Uh, let's set up a meeting. Let's talk about these things. Uh, again, I'd love your personal feedback. You know, how are we doing, myself, my team? Uh, what are you seeing exhibited in the offices that you're now supporting? Um, are we delivering on these behaviors and values?